How playing basketball made me a better investor. Hey and welcome to today's video. My name is Julian. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Cake DeFi. I am an avid investor myself. I invest in uh, various asset classes. Obviously, I also invest uh, in crypto, but uh, I generally believe in accumulating purchase power and not necessarily falling in love with an individual investment. And so in today's video, I wanna share a story from actually playing in the US uh, as a high school student in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. I had a fantastic coach there, his name was uh, Coach Anderson. And uh, I, or I'm originally from Austria and that's important in that story uh, for a specific reason. And that reason and then you're gonna learn or you understand how this made me a better investor. I was 16 years old, actually 15 years old when I moved there and so quite young. And um, basketball rules, and that's the key part to the story actually. The basketball rules in Austria are slightly different than the basketball rules in the US, um, especially in high school. Um, there's a couple of rules, um, mainly two rules um, that, uh, uh, actually three rules that I wanna go into. Um, and you don't need to understand much about basketball, you don't need to understand about the rules. You just need to understand the basic concepts. Um, one of the main rules that's different is free throws in uh, Austria, and maybe this has changed over the last 20 years in the US, I actually don't know, but when I played in high school there, um, free throws, uh, whenever you got a free throw, you didn't just get, for example, two free throws, you actually had to make the first one, and only then you would actually be awarded a second free throw. So if you only make one free throw, uh, if, you, if you didn't make the first shot, you didn't get a second shot. And this is a big difference uh, in Austria, uh, it's like in the NBA, uh, where uh, if you're fouled, you get two free throws. Uh, obviously, unless it's a three-pointer, unless you make the shot there and it's an end one, but just, let's say, a regular kind of shooting foul. Um, the other rules were timeouts. So when could someone call a timeout? And uh, calling for timeouts in Austria is uh, relatively limited, so it's normally only when the ball is dead, so that means the ball has to be uh, outside. You can't just call a timeout during the active play. And uh, the third rule was... Um, you, in, in high school in the US, and I assume the rule still exists, if you were dribbling and you were closely guarded, you actually had to move, so you had to gain space. Otherwise, uh, you would have a five second violation. In Austria, a five second violation, similar like in the NBA, would only occur if uh, you would actually be holding the ball and someone would guard you up closely and then uh, that's a five second violation. But in Austria, you would get this five second violation also when uh, you would be dribbling and uh, someone would guard you really well and you wouldn't uh, gain any kind of space. Now, why am I pointing this out? Well, obviously, I was, um, when I moved to the US, 14, 15 years old, I was one of the best um, teenage basketball players in Austria. That doesn't mean I was like one of the, some of the best in the world. Austria is a relatively small country, but it obviously, um, I, I was definitely not a bad basketball player. I was relatively good. And so moving to the US, I had assumed that I was gonna play really well at, in high school as well. Um, and I actually did quite well when I played one-on-ones or when we played, but the, I, I understood the game. I could shoot really well, so if we, do, if we did shooting drills, if we did dribbling drills, um, all the mechanics, all of this was really well tied down. But then when it actually went to the game, I would easily get uh, ticked up by those rule changes. I would struggle with how someone would call timeouts. I would struggle with the five second rule. Uh, I would struggle with some of the free throw kind of mechanics. And I was really, really struggling. And so when coach took me out of the game and um, he talked to me and said, hey, Julian, what's wrong with you? Like, what, what's going on? Um, you know, in practice and you're hustling hard, you're, you're playing well, you're doing all the right things. And in the game, you're just constantly messing up. And I said, ah, well, you know, the rules don't make any sense and the rules aren't fair and, you know, the rules should be changed that way and I'm more used to these other rules and, and you know, like, this doesn't make any sense with the free throws and the five seconds and blah, blah, blah. And then he said something that's, that I think that's so powerful and it applies so much to investing and I'm gonna give you how this applies so much to investing. Then he said, look, son, you have two options. You're either gonna adapt to the rules or you're gonna stop playing. Because you're not gonna be someone who can change rules. So either play by the rules, understand the rules, play by the rules, or stop playing. And that was so powerful because it kinda highlighted to me 
that there was no room for complaining. There was no room for but, 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 but this, but that. It was either understand the rules, learn the rules, play by the rules, or just STUF. Obviously, he would never curse, but, uh, and he would just, or, or, and just stop. And so this massive thing for me was, obviously, I then, uh, even though I, I, I kept struggling more and more, I, I kept struggling playing for high, uh, in high school in the US. And then when I came back to Austria, I actually played in the Bundesliga, second league, and did relatively well. Um, but the lesson here, and, and let's kind of put this into investing. You know how often I hear from people investing complaining about the Fed and how the Fed is manipulating the market and how these large investors and the banks and how this and that and this is so unfair and this market is manipulated and how the media is manipulating everything. You know what? SDUF. Either play by the rules, understand the rules, play by the rules, stop fucking complaining, just understand how the game is being played or stop investing. And I'm saying this because I hear so many times how people are like, oh, you know, the Fed is manipulating everything and the Fed is not oh, correct and the banks are doing this and the banks are against crypto and this is only happening because of crypto and gold prices manipulated and, um, and this and that and I don't know what and the dollar and the media and they're all colluding. Then why the fuck are you investing? That serious. Either you play by the rules, you understand rules and you just game the rules or you don't invest. And this actually what makes the really, really good investors different from those that are the average investor, which are, who are constantly complaining, who are constantly trying to make excuses, instead of knowing, look, the Fed prints money, assets are going up. The Fed's tightening, assets are going down. Yeah, you can complain, you can be short, and, and I mean, you see this all the time. You see people being short when the, when the Fed is printing money, and they're like, oh, but actually the market should be crashing, and the only reason it's not crashing is because the Fed is printing money. Yeah, I know, I also got a five second call because I was dribbling, and if I had played in Austria, I would not have gotten that five second call. But I was playing in the US, and there was a five second rule, and I lost the ball. It's the same thing. And. That is just something that's so important. Great, great, great people understand when do they simply have to play by the rules and just understand the rules, or when can they actually change the rules, which is super unlikely. And then if you don't like the rules, then just don't play. And especially if you don't understand the rules, you don't play at all because that's always super, super dangerous. And I always feel a lot of people especially when they're a bit younger. They think, uh, I don't even need to know the rules or I don't care about the rules or I can change the rules or I can complain about the rules. No, no, you just have to execute. And so that is what I wanna give you in today's video. I hope that helps. If it does, let me know. I hope you get some value from that. Share it, like it, and then see you next time. Thanks so much, Julian, bye-bye.